George, board members. For this evening's Accent on Academics, Bruton High School English teacher, Ms. Blanqui Balador, and her students collaborated on a film festival project sponsored by the College of William and Mary, Global Film Festival, and Canon Virginia Incorporated. Students created do-it-yourself and film-it-yourself, short film projects that fostered creativity and civic responsibility. Each film made curriculum connections through script writing, technical editing, and communication among global audiences. To share more about this presentation and introduce the students and other presenters, I'm going to ask Ms. Arletha Dockery, principal from Bruton High School, to please come to the podium. Good evening. It is our pleasure to present our Accent on Academics to you all this evening. We are eager to present this opportunity because it highlights an example of how our students pursued an interest that they had while in high school and how this has opened the possibilities for endless opportunities for them in their future. I invite Ms. Valador at this time. Um, good evening. Mm -hmm. um, let me go ahead and get started. A little bit nervous. Okay, good evening. I'm so excited to share with you the work of our graduates in the area of film production. We have offered a film class at Bruton since the beginning of the 2008-2009 year to our juniors and, senior, and mostly senior classes. Like all good movies, you have to begin with a story. Ryan, who graduated in 2009, was enrolled in our first film class at Bruton. During that year, he and his fellow students studied, analyzed, and created various films. We showcased their films through English classes where students voted for their favorite films in a variety of categories. You can say that was our first competition. Fast forward three years, or in this case, is a cinematic montage, and Ryan comes to me with a proposal. The College of William and Mary, where he was enrolled at at the time, was looking into expanding their film festival to include K through 12 students, and he wanted to know if I'd be interested in participating. Well, of course I was, and I said yes. Uh, it was the first time students in my class created films for the film festival. As part of this PBL, students were required to translate film festival's themes into a visual story, while encompassing all five filmmaking components. Students were required to produce a treatment, a script, and a storyboard, or as we call it in the film industry, just a story. They had to uh, create a mise en scene or the art production, which is the look of the film, which includes lighting, framing, sets, makeup, and special effects, to name a few. Then they moved on to cinematography, or the use of the camera, where shots, angles, and camera movements. Uh, editing, which is the longest and the most tedious of, of the components, is where the story comes together. And this is where they spend the majority of their time. And sound. They have to decide on what equipment to use. To do sound, not to do sound. And my favorite as a teacher is to make sure that I enforce the copyright laws and make sure they don't break any of the uh, copyright rules. Now, uh, this project is more than just having fun making a movie. Uh, anyone who's ever created a short film or worked in the industry can attest to the various required skills. For example, collaboration. M uh, making movies is a communal process. For this project, students created production teams with specific roles. The producer, the director, the writer, editor, and sound director. The roles were assigned by the team based on the students' areas of strength and expertise. Students had to have an understanding of their roles in order to, de to avoid delays and cost increases. Students learned to work together to meet the required deadlines, and there were many. Communication. In this case, it is more than just text. It is cinematic language. Shots, angles, editing, and sound to tell the story. Each film crew had to know not only the jargon, but how to put it all together to tell a cohesive story in relation to the th film's theme. This required students to create a working outline or a treatment, a script, and a storyboard prior to the actual filming process. Students spent several weeks in the rewriting process, providing feedback and improvement and clarity. But even after filming was completed, additional feedback was provided in the editing process. 
and critical thinking, which of course is every teacher's favorite part. Filmmaking, uh, film makes critical thinking so easy because it happens all the time. Deciding how to shoot and edit a film requires thought and then rethought. What may look good on paper may not work once production begins. The list of how many times students had to come up with a new way of shooting a scene, working with special effects, or redoing sound is too long for me to recite tonight. But I can tell you this, film students we're constantly thinking and rethinking how to better shoot a scene through shots, angles, sound, and editing. So without further ado, sit back and enjoy some clips from our award-winning films. something different. I want something powerful. Okay, so tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I want to, <laughs> I want to, I want to, I want to. <laughs> no, no, you will listen up. it down so because they were very long so you had to edit it down so the best part of this entire process was sharing and receiving feedback from the film community during the student film showcases at the Kimball Theater so these kids were able to produce mm -hmm. and show their work at the Kimball Theater so in the first picture yes that is Jared Gilman from Wes Anderson's film Moonrise Kingdom he spent the day with several of our students after judging their films students also participated in various workshops Q&A's as well as watch films from around the world but where are they now? 
Well, Ryan is at the University of Southern California in their prestigious film school working on his master's from film degree. Zoe is at VCU's competitive film program and has worked on the set of Macbeth and Jeff Nichols' Loving, which comes out this November. And Katie works at Universal Studios in Hollywood. However, there is one thing that always happens when I encounter one of my former film students, and it always begins with, Miss V, did you see the movie? And fill in the blank. <laughs> that was wonderful. Oh, that was wonderful. So they get a taste of true, their true, their future goals while in high school, a true taste. And some discover their goals yeah. through the class, yes. That's great, that's great. Bravo, oh my Thank goodness, you. bravo, bravo, bravo. What I really love is that a former a Bruton student, a Bruton graduate, came back to the school and said, hey, I've got this wonderful opportunity for you, and I just think that is fantastic. Nice. Yes, very, a very lucky, great, great young man. Well, he's a man now, but yeah. I know one of the questions I was going to ask, but you answered at the very end, is where do the students go after they, you know, discover all the magic that goes on at Bruton High School and, and so uh, and to and other programs there. So to walk away and all of a sudden you hear back from them or you're tracking them or you're trying to see where, they're, where their paths lead them, um, it's pretty amazing. I mean, this... It's preparing our students for their career. I mean, their goal, their, their, it's more than just a hobby for these students. Yes. So mm -hmm. hats off to you and everyone involved at Bruton. Magical. <laughs> the creativity is just unreal. Mm -hmm. It's fun to watch. Mm -hmm. How many students participated? Um, it depends on the years, but it can range anywhere between um, we've had the most we've had accepted into the competition because it has to go through a, a process, a layered process. Uh, it's been seven maximum okay. films okay. at one time, which was, was huge. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.